Okay, I wanted to give you a quick look on how to kind of a faster way to upload your character into the hero system um, mod so you can get to use it. So for our purposes, we are going to take on the blue player. So we're going to be the blue player now. So as the blue player, we have this, which we call the puck. And the character sheet underneath it is here. So you can see if we click on these are like tabs, you can expand to see that part of the character sheet. So I'm going to put those down. I'm going to show you the easiest way for you to uh, update and upload your character sheet. So when you're using this, uh, you would need a JSON file. And so I'm going to go grab one and show you. Let's see, identify it first. So here, I, I, uh, I save these also up on GitHub so I can get a URL directly for those. But for this, it, uh, I'm going to just assume that maybe you don't have GitHub or don't want to try to figure out how to use that. Uh, and you just want to use the built-in tool. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to Modding and Cloud Manager. And then you may want to make a folder. As a matter of fact, I think I will do that right now. I'll make a folder. And oops, what I mean is here, create a folder. And from the root, I'm going to put JSON for JSON files. So I'm going to create. So now I have a folder that's called JSON. That's where I'm going to store all the JSON files, let's say. Okay. So you click here to upload a local file. And then I'm going to go to that, that file. So I don't know if I can paste this in. Let's see if I can just paste in the path. Yep, there it is. Okay. So I've got, I'm going to upload Defender. So we got to make sure Defender gets selected. And we hit select. And then we have to choose where it goes. So I'm going to put it in the JSON folder and upload. Okay, boom, bada, boom, and it's done. So if I click on the JSON folder, there's my Defender JSON file. So all I have to do now is every time I load the game, in other words, even if I... Um, I think if I join someone else's game, I can still get to my modding. I'm not sure, but I think so. But either way, you'd want to just uh, click this, and you see that it copies the link. And you can see it right here, Game Nice Colors Blue, and then it copies this link to your clipboard. So I don't need that anymore. So I'm going to go to this blue puck, and I'm going to right-click, and I'm going to paste it right in here. I'm just going to go right into this. got to take out what's there already. And I'm going to paste it right in there. And don't have to do anything else. Just click somewhere else. It's now saved in there. And here's the refresh button. You just click this to load character. Click. And now it says Defender. Because that's the JSON file that I uploaded. And now Defender's primary stats are all there. And then to put it up on my screen, to kind of stick it to my screen, I'm going to hit the Share button. And it shares it with my screen. And now it's on the screen. So now if I put it up here, no matter where I go, it stays with me. And so I can even expand my primary and secondary stats. I can ex expand my dice rolls. And so here's my uh, plus 25 strength. So I roll this. It doesn't really roll. There's no roll tied with that. But I have an electric bolt. If I click that, you can hear the dice rolling. And it puts the results here and down here so I can see. So after you load your JSON file, you want to go through and make sure that your dice rolls are showing the way you need them shown. So here's an overload blast. And there you go. So uh, otherwise, every time you load this JSON file, you may have to go in and make some changes. So you'd want to get your JSON file corrected or maybe augmented is a better word. It's probably correct. But it may need to have extra dice rolls added that are like zero cost powers that have just exactly what the dice rolls need to be so that it shows up here very easily. So um, if you need to edit a dice roll, you will simply click on, let's say, that the plus 25 strength. Oh, here it is. I actually created a, a special one that's 15 plus 25 strength punch. And you can see as I click this, it actually rolls the dice. So that's the damage for that. So 15 plus 25 punches, uh, 8d6, right? <clears throat> so that's a total of 24 stuns, 6 body. 
your to hit roll is uh, you may also want to use a quick roll have that open so this is usually about all i ever have open i usually have the roll editor closed and i have combat open so i can show that i'm prone i'll just check that box and it says defender is now prone it sends that out to everybody and then i'm no longer prone that sort of thing so if i'm stunned i check this box and it'll say i'm stunned so i usually leave that open and then i have these dice rolls but then i also for attacking I would have the distance box open and I would have, um, I think that's it, because there's two hit rolls at the top right here of your dice rolls. So if you roll that, it'll tell you what you rolled. So I hit a DCB of three, okay? But that's all you need to know to get this working. And then this you can customize it in here, but they don't save. Any changes you make in the roll editor don't save on the next session. You'll have to reload and make the changes again. So that's why you may want to use Hero Designer to add new lines to your character uh, at zero cost power. And just make a note that it's for the TTS mod so that it can read those dice correctly. Like sometimes it doesn't add the strength. Like plus 25 strength, that shows up on the character sheet. And it's supposed to be something that you would think would add to the role. But when you click it, it doesn't add anything. It's just like adds a roll of one. So I created this extra one on Defender's character sheet in Hero Designer so that when I exported the JSON file it came with this extra power. And I just click it and it'll put all the dice together for me so I can see it happen this way. So that's how you kind of customize things so that it's all ready to go. So it may take going back and forth a few times especially if you have funny powers, strange or odd powers. But that's exactly how you load your character sheet. So hopefully this was helpful to you. I'll post this over to YouTube as well. And uh, thanks for watching. We'll talk to you guys later.